Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and I actually have a video I am very excited about. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is talk about the Knit Crate, and then I'm going to show you the thing that I'm excited about. Okay, so Knit Crate is, um, they are um, trying to be a smaller footprint or whatever. So they're using these new fancy bags that they say, hi, I'm 100% biodegradable please compost or recycle me so they're not using their boxes and all of their information is online now you've got to log in online I left my little sheet at school because I was gonna print the patterns off even though they're not printing up paper I was gonna waste paper and print them off because you know what that's just the way I that's just the way I am so I don't have the patterns to review to show you what they the knit crate is why am I still getting this knit crate and not canceling it? I don't know, because I just love fancy yarn. <laughs> okay, so you get this little stitch marker here, this cute little skein of yarn stitch marker, right there. Woo! So they gave us that. And then here is the yarn, which I, I don't know if I like it at all. I would use it as a giveaway, but I don't want to be rude. You'll be like, what? You don't like that yarn and you're giving it to me? It's Yura Yarn Knit Attitude by Knit Crate called Chonk. And this is a 82% Merino wool, 18% per Peruvian Prima cotton, super bulky, 109 yards, machine wash, gentle, lay flat to dry. And it's a really thick, kind of fuzzy, chunky yarn. And there's two skeins of them. You probably can make a hat, maybe a mitten per yarn. Maybe I'll try to make a mitten out of each of these. I'll use my um, red heart mitten pattern that I made obsessive amounts of mittens for friends last year or two years ago. I think that's what I'll do with this because I probably now have lost the paper that they sent us because they gave you a card in here that you go online to find their patterns. And when I went to school to go online, I couldn't remember my password. So then I couldn't log into my account and I couldn't access it from just that card. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that is the Knit Crate. Yay. And they still never have made me a Knit Crate representative, right? So am I just being a bad attitude? I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see what I do with those. Okay. Now, for the thing that I'm super excited about, do you guys remember when I went to Michael's and I bought this case and I bought it because it was like 70% off and it's containers and you know how I love containers. And I bought it when I got my big cakes. Okay, I can link that video below. So I finally decided what I was gonna put in my container. I was making my pocket shawl and I wanted to put some buttons, some decorative buttons on the pockets. And I thought, hey, I'm gonna organize my buttons. And ta-da! Okay, you guys, I am so excited. First of all, organizing things is like my favorite thing to do. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up and show you all of the organization that I did. You're like, what? Are you as excited as me? Probably not. <laughs> Okay, so this button box here has all of my red buttons in it. And this one has the pink ones. You're like, you got real creative. I did it in the other side. So here are my orange buttons. I don't have very many orange buttons, but there they are. Yellow buttons. So I guess what I'm saying on this side is all the colored buttons, right? It only got a little bit creative down here on the bottom um, when it came to green, teal, or like aqua colored buttons, um, blue, ooh, and I have some big buttons in there, and then the final purple, okay? So this first side is all organized by color. Now I had to, I had more buttons. This container has, oh, I'll do that one last. Okay. So this one has fancy wooden buttons that have things on them, like owls or little bunnies or cats or dragonflies. Um, 
I'm trying to figure out how to hold this so it doesn't fall. Okay. So this one has like these wooden buttons, okay? Like this little wooden cat button. These ones I got from a subscriber with owls on them, okay? So the wooden decorated buttons. This orange one over here has big natural buttons. I'm going to show you guys this. These are made by Wise Boutique from Earliesville, Virginia. And these are homemade buttons that her and her husband make. And so I have a bunch of these like big natural wood buttons. Um, this one is a hemlock tree button. This one is maple red wine stain. I love this one. This is a maple turmeric stain. These I was saving for more big button cowls from Laurel. Okay, so that's what is in the orange one over here. Our big wooden buttons that are handmade by that company and others. This is a whole little container of white buttons. And this one is wooden buttons. Now, for Christmas one year, my husband ordered me a bunch of these buttons from China. And they look like this. They're just little buttons. And then there's some that I got at Walmart that look like this. But these are all wooden buttons that are not like those fancy ones that, from that gal in Virginia that are made from, handmade from someone. Here are flower slash snowflake cherry buttons. I call them like nature buttons. Um, here's a little strawberry button. Here's a flower button, snowflake. Nothing fancy, just um, buttons that didn't fit in regular categories, okay? And then here are black buttons, all kinds of black buttons. And what's in here? Oh, these my husband also ordered me off of Amazon from China. And these are all buttons that have like little flowers. They're little wooden ones with like flowers painted on them. And some of them are little wooden ones with plaid all kinds of fancy little wooden buttons from China. And then this is my miscellaneous button container. This has ones that are like cat eyes, um, these little toggle buttons. This one here has some fun like leather around the edges of it. They're just miscellaneous buttons that didn't fit anywhere. Here's some metal buttons. They're probably buttons that I, like so I'm a hoarder. <laughs> And so if I see a button on the ground anywhere, I snatch it up. Or if there's buttons like on the inside of shirts and stuff, I cut them and save them and I put them in. I saved them. Before I had a big plastic jar that my husband had gotten me from Joann's. It had a lid that looked like a button. But then I decided, what? I'm going to organize all my buttons because this is what I would do. I would need to make something, so I'd open that big jar, I'd dump the buttons all on the table, and I would dig around for the button I want, or I would like hold it and like dig around. I thought, I'm done with that. I'm going to organize all of my buttons in this container. Ta-da! And I did, and I am very happy. And that took me probably an hour <laughs> to organize buttons, and it was fun. It was a good time. So that is what, I was going to put this in my last yarn chat video, but I completely forgot about it. And I looked down here on the floor when I was making my knit crate video, and I was like, I can make a video <laughs> about organizing buttons. I have to have a few of you out there that are like, I'm going to Joanne or Michael's to organize buttons. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that nice? Okay, so that's all that is this video. Um, what did I start with? I started with a little knit crate and <clears throat> I went to buttons. So I can put a link in the description box below to the buttons that my husband ordered me off of Amazon. Those are like the plain wooden ones and the wooden ones with flowers. And there were some that were like wooden that had cats and butterflies and bees and dragonflies and all that. I typically use those as decoration on little baby hats or little baby dresses. Because, you, I mean, you can't really button with them. The dragonfly, it's kind of hard. Uh, but they're cute decorations. If you sew them on real nice and tight, right? Maybe put a dab of glue back there. 
so it doesn't come off. You can put them as cute little decorations on crochet flowers and then put that little strawberry as the center on the flower. Sew it on real tight, dab of glue, put it on the hat. Yeah, that's that. So that's what I did. So you guys, I know I've been out for a long time, but here I just today, just for you, recorded three videos. You'll know that because I'm wearing the same shirt in all three of them. I did a yarn chat, a crochet society, and knit kit crate slash organizing buttons. I can also see if I can find a link to um, this container from Michael's. If not, maybe they have one on Amazon. If you are like, I need to organize my buttons in a rainbow container. <laughs> hmm, I know. You know, I've got all this yarn piled up around me and I should do some better organizing. The one thing I kind of wanted to real quick do, I guess I'll save it for another time. Um, so that that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.